Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys, we're going to start <clears throat> today's lesson. It is based on this. Okay. Um, the main objective for today's class is this one. We are going to talk about a, a very important topic today that is related to etiquette, right? In this case, we have our general objective. It is that you're going to be able to provide oral and written instructions and guidelines about etiquette in the workplace, right? But what is etiquette? That is the first thing that we are going to discuss. Etiquette. What is etiquette? As you can see in this slide, well, this is the main word, but around it, we have some um, words that are related to it. For example, it says polite, conduct, good, code, friendly, manners, Norms, code, firm, good, touch. So we have a different words that are going to help us to define what etiquette means, right? And now let us um, check among you here through the chat box. I would like you to define what do you understand by etiquette? Try to, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, try to look for the meaning and please write it down in the chat box. Write down in the chat box what you understand by etiquette. But the meaning, <clears throat> Jose Adilso, it is the meaning, not the translation. Una cosa es la traducción, otra es la definición. What does etiquette mean in English? Okay, Jennifer has already given one. What about the others? Rules and formalities. Mm -hmm. Okay, only Jennifer and Osvaldo has written like, Osvaldo has written like um, <clears throat> synonyms, right? <clears throat> Values. Okay, so I have so one question that you have in the book. That question, it is this one. 
I'm going to erase all this. This question says, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important? Why? Why are they important? Okay, so we are going to talk about this because we need to understand first what is etiquette. And uh, como ya escribieron la definición ahí en el chat box, so we have an idea about what etiquette is. Then, and if we have seen that etiquette, it is related something about rules or norms. In this case, they are related to your workplace, right? And then, are these rules important and why? Okay, so think in this moment about two rules two rules that you have that in your job, right? The institution has general rules that you need to respect. They are related to etiquette. Mention what are they, which ones, right? And you need to say if they are important or not, right? Think about them, think about them. Y van a ir siempre al chat box a opinar. ¿Cuáles son esas dos reglas de etiquette que usted tiene en su trabajo? Type it in the chat box. Okay. ¿Cuáles son esas reglas de etiqueta que usted sigue en su trabajo? Okay, Moses, thank you. Salutations and punctual, being punctual. Okay, Jennifer says, for me, dress appropriately and have principles and values. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the definition of etiquette. We have this definition in your book. I'm going to go directly to the book. This is what we have. This is a reading that we have here are the equations that we have already read 
right? These are the equations. But now we have here the definition. We have this article and first you are going to read this because I want to check your pronunciation, okay? We have one, two, three, four paragraph, okay? So we have paragraph one. This is paragraph one. Paragraph two and so on. I'm not, I'm not titled them because I need to make it smaller here. So I have here the four paragraph. This is one, two, three, and four. And for this, let me see. Let me see. Jessica Araceli Diaz. Jessica Araceli Díaz. ¿Está por acá? Yes, teacher. Ok, Jessica, ¿podría leer usted el párrafo 1? Voy a asignar cuatro eh, participants, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, you read paragraph 1. Then the paragraph 2, Wilfredo Renderos. Wilfredo Renderos. Wilfredo Renderos está por acá? No. Ok. Valeria Michel Monge. Yes. Ok. Valeria Michel, paragraph 2. Ok. Um, Kenny Lisset Barrera. Good night, teacher. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, can you read paragraph three? Three. Three, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. And finally, let's see. Elsie, can you read paragraph four, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Read it, please. Paragraph one. There are many workplace etiquette give the lines, but the guidelines. most guidelines, 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 but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, emergency, that is okay. Oh, however, however, habitat late comer are never appre never appreciated. Appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you re respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Thank you. Paragraph two. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace 
email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include the, all the important details. You should use formal and grammatic, grammatical correct language for email. Thank you. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone hat some point during our daily daily work. Be polite when you take to your employers or your supervise, supervise. Listen to what they say careful and do not in group. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretation. Thank you. Finish. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Then I talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you choke. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines, can play a very vital role for future promotions. Thank you very much to all the participants, right? I'm going to read it now because I just wanted to listen to you, right? To check your pronunciation. Now I'm going to read it in that way. Um, you can check um, some sums that maybe uh, they are different from the, play, the the way that you do it, right? So let me make it bigger because I cannot read it. It is too small for me. Okay. I'm going to read it now. It says, good etiquette at the workplace. I just want to Okay. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason you, why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In... Let me see. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly 
and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette is the workplace, in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the phone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not attempt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a cold when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the cold. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Now that we have listened the whole pronunciation, I think that we need to practice a little bit just to check the vocabulary that maybe at the beginning it was a little bit difficult for you, right? Teacher? Now, yes? What is the pronunciation of inter interrupt? And second paragraph. Second uh, paragraph? No, and third, third paragraph. Third paragraph, this? Yes. Interrupt? Yes. Interrupt. Yes. Interrupt. Interrupt. And do not interrupt. Okay. Any other one? Thank you. Okay. Anytime. Yeah. Uh, grammatically, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Grammatically. Ah, okay, okay. Grammatically. We don't say grammatically. We say grammatically. Hay una silent letter que viene a ser esta. Entonces decimos eso. Grammatically. Okay. Any other? Y la knowledge. Knowledge, así como lo acaba de pronunciar. Okay. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Now. One important thing is to understand what the article says. We need to understand what etiquette, because we are discussing about the term etiquette. And according to this, it says, it says, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines. It means that every single institution has guidelines, etiquette guidelines, right? And that it says, but the most important is to be punctual. That is what this article says, that being punctual is one of the guidelines that we have for work. But it will be different from one institution to another institution because they are not the same. Maybe 
the needs are different or maybe the kind of population that it has is different. So that's why we have a different needs per each institution. And then it says, if you know that you will be late, so you better call. You better inform your boss. Hey, I'm in travel. I'm, I'm in the traffic jam. So I won't be able to be in the meeting. That is the first thing that you need to do, right? Because it says that you need to call to the authority. And it says, etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the words. ¿Algunos de ustedes es supervisor? ¿Alguno de ustedes tiene un puesto donde hay subalternos? Vamos a ver. Yes. Nobody? It's probably. Okay. Yeah. It is probably that yes. <laughs> okay. Pero entonces, si ustedes no son los jefes, ustedes son los subalternos. Right? Yes. Entonces, it is true. ustedes están a cargo de una jefatura. Maybe a supervisor. Ahora díganme. ¿Cuáles son la guidelines, etiquette que maneja, que se maneja en la unidad de trabajo? ¿Cómo es el supervisor y usted como trabajador? ¿Qué normas son las que vamos a cumplir? ¿Qué es lo que tiene como regla usted al trabajar con su supervisor? Do you have etiquette, guidelines, or you don't have? Yes, I have yeah? etiquette. Okay. The principal for, for me is responsible. Okay, responsibility, right? The responsibility. But... ¿Y cómo les trata el supervisor? ¿Cómo les trata? So good. It's a very, very special. Muy humano, muy humano. Ok, ok, ok. <laughs> Why? Because it says, if you, if you have employees or clients, it means that you need to know how to communicate with them. Because it is supposed that you are not going to shout. If you have any request, you need to use the appropriate vocabulary to ask for those requests. Because you need something to be done, but you are not going to ask them, okay, do it by forcing. No, you need to word. The vocabulary that you are going to use has to be very polite. Right? So we are going to talk about that later. And then it says, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette. Telephone etiquette in the workplace, it is very essential. Believe it or not, when we called, tenemos una gran debilidad when we um, work with calls. I just remember quién, díganme ustedes, usted está en la oficina y cae una llamada. Usted la contesta. ¿Quién de las dos personas tiene que identificarse? Sí. 
I. ¿Quién sería I? ¿El que hace la llamada o el que la recibe? El que hace la llamada. Por lo general, bueno, en mi caso, cuando soy yo la que llama, tengo que presentarme, ¿no? Decirle a la persona quién le está hablando. Y preguntar okay. si a quién le llamo es la persona que yo necesito contactar. Ok, very good. ¿Qué sucedería si usted es la persona que llama y usted le dice, ¿Quién está hablando ahí? Is that something polite? Esa es una guideline de cortesía no. que se debe manejar. Usted le llama y le dice, ¿Quién está ahí? No, right. Primero se saluda también, teacher. Also. Also. Pero en las áreas de trabajo, do we respect that? Do we respect the guideline for a telephone conversation? No. Okay. No, teacher. Because we need we need to understand that. Y se los digo porque we have a lot of uh, different places where we work. Y solo les menciono. In one university. I'm not going to tell you which one, but in one university, la jefatura que hablaba decía, ¿Quién está ahí? ¿Quién me está contestando? I mean, boss. But that person was not polite. He or she forgot about etiquette whenever you call a person you need to respect we need to be polite it is not something demanding just because you are the supervisor just because you are the manager or just because you are the boss if you are making the call you introduce yourself right You introduce yourself if you are calling. And that is a guideline that we need to respect. Etiquette. Then it says we have to speak on the phone at some point during the daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees. We just forget about this. And it says your employees or your supervisor. So we are talking about the boss. The boss is not respecting employees' rights. Now let's see. I'm going to erase again here. And then we have the last one. And then it says, etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. It doesn't matter that if you are not like in a very formal meeting, you are not going to use the etiquette. Of course, even though it is a, a, a celebration that you are having with your co-workers, it is something informal, but There are some things that we need to respect. For example, the one that we have here. If you get a call when you are eating and you are talking to your coworkers, you are having fun, and then you receive a, a call. You get a call. And then, ahora ya no se dice, but we have to. We need to say, Excuse me. And then you receive the call. Pero ahora lo común es simplemente agarrar el teléfono y salirse. It is an informal meeting. You are having lunch. Yeah, but that, this is like when you are eating and everyone is sitting on the table, right? Around the table. Si usted se va a parar, ¿qué dice?
¿Qué dice? Con permiso. Ok, because that is, that is etiquette guideline. That is part of the rules that maybe you don't need to have them written in a book, but those are like general etiquette that we need to respect, right? In a general way. Another one it is, do not talk loudly while eating. You are eating and you are shouting and you have food in your mouth. We need to be very careful. You are eating or you are talking. You are sharing your ideas, but you have to do one at once. Or you eat or you talk, but not both things at the same time. Right? Both things at the same time, it is not acceptable. Right? Peter, the least. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. Abre sus cámaras, por favor. Voy a limpiar los lentes para verlos mejor. Para leer mejor también. Yes. Excuse me, Moses, no le pude comprender. No, Eteria se escucha con la voz un poco triste. Está resfriada. ¿De verdad? Sí. No. No, no estoy resfriada. No estoy resfriada. Me oye diferente. Me oigo uh, un poco apagada. De verdad. Ya Mire, me pues. <risa> <risa> Mire, Mauses, pues. Quizá, quizá es que sí estoy, digamos, cansada. Eso sí. No. Ok. No. I'm tired. <risa> Eso sí, ha sido a very, how can I say, difficult day. Right, even yesterday and today, it's been uh, difficult. Maybe because of that. Por ahí quizá. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. I'm here, teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Karina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Pineda. 
present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michel, ok, Valeria Michel, Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Ok, guys. Thank you. Ok, so we're going back here to the re reading in which we are discussing about the guidelines, right? And we have here, for example, we have four different, um, how can I say, statements, questions in which we need to decide which is the best option. For example, if you are late, you should compensate the time, call the person you report to, or not to do anything about it. Which one do you think it is the best option? Call the person you report to. Okay. You need to call them because you are late. So immediately you need to inform. You need to share the problem that you have in that right moment, right? So letter B, it is the best option. Then for number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Send the emails in English. Use a long salutation or express the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. Okay. And then we have two more. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker, or use polite language. Interrupt the other speaker. Yes. Letter B. Is, yeah, letter B is not good etiquette. And the last one, number four. If you receive a call while you are eating with your coworker, you should. Ignore the call and continue. Answer the call at a table or leave the table and answer the call. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. It is the best, the best option for us. Okay. Now let's continue with this. This is what we have already answered. I've got this. In a general way, we have here, for example, eight workplace etiquettes. Every employee should know. Of course, there are many of them. We are going to see these ones and the coming ones, right? For example, Jennifer was mentioning uh, this at the very beginning, right? That for them, this was one of the guidelines, the etiquettes. It is dress appropriately. Appropriately. What does it mean? That you need to respect the dress code that you have for your job. The dress code. ¿Quiénes de todos ustedes pueden llegar y vestir jeans en sus trabajos? I'm me. 
Okay. But there are some others que no les permiten llevar. Why? Because that is something informal. So what is the dress code for your job? A los que dijeron que, yes, Jennifer in, in the... Roberto. You said yes. Entonces, yes. entonces, for your job, that is the appropriately way to dress. No problem at all. Yes, But yes. what about what about in some others? A quien no le dejan vestir en jeans. Lawyers, for example. Lawyers, no, pero pero de los que están aquí presentes. De los que están acá. ¿A quién no le dejan vestir en jeans? ¿O a todos les permiten? Ok, entiendo entonces que a todos. ¿Por qué? That is the, the dress code. If you respect the dress code, it is no problem at all. If you use, if you wear tennis, Well, if you are working on not in an office and then you have to be outside and you need to be like going and coming from different places, commuting from one place to another one. So it means that you have to wear like comfortable dressing, right? But because it is not the same to be outside from one place to another one than being just in the office. The dress code is different. So that's why the word it is appropriately because it depends from the place where you work. Then you say, hey, respect personal space. You have your space. If you have a desk, you have your space. For example, I have my space here. I am here. I have here my 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 desk. But what about if someone comes at the moment that I am working, someone comes and they come next to me in this moment. That person is not respecting my space because I am working, right? And the same, uh, I have to do exactly the same. If I'm going to talk about aspects related to our job, I'm going to be in another coworker's desk, but I need to respect the space Space that the person has in his own desk, right? Another one. Be mindful of your words. What is the meaning of mindful? What is the meaning of mindful? Hello? What is the meaning of mindful? Consciente? Okay. The attention, the it, means, it means that you need to think about what you're saying. Yes. You need to think. All what you are going to say, you need to think first. Right? Then, respect for workers' time. Salvadorian people, we have the greatest excuse. The greatest excuse is, es que somos salvadoreños. That is the greatest school. It is part of the responsibility, but... De cada 10 salvadoreños, dos respect time. The other ones 
do not care about it. They know that they are going to be late y nunca hacen nada para llegar a tiempo. Or, whenever you have meetings, y dicen que la meeting va a ser a las nueve en punto, ¿cuántos estarán at nine o'clock in the meeting place? Only the one responsible one. Or two. The responsible one or two. If, you, if there are ten, one or two are going to be there at that time. The other ones are going to be there at nine five. Y con el pasito así. Aplicando la ley del cuarto. Yes, but that is, how can I say, or Salvadorian um, culture, que no ayuda para nada, right? So that's what it says. Hey, respect co-workers' time. ¿Por qué? Si la reunión es a las nueve y se tarda una hora, pero the one that is in church of the meeting empieza a decir, bueno, como los demás van a venir tarde, esperemos los 15 minutos, pero se va a pasar 15 minutos también. I mean, you are not respecting time for everyone porque los dos que llegaron a las nueve en punto, ¿por qué tienen que salir a las diez y cuarto? Why? If they were on time, right? So we need, well, at a point we need to start doing it this, but we need to be very conscious about that. But if you don't care, well, that is part of the etiquette. So it means that you are not applying etiquette because you are not respecting your co-workers. Keep your workplace clean. This is something very basic. But as you can see in your job, not everyone does it. If you visit the different desks, places from your co-workers, some of them, when you just get there, you can see that it is a completely mess. And you can see the difference between one place to another desk. Maybe you don't have your own office. Maybe it is just the desk. But only having the desk, you need to have everything organized, right? But not everyone does it. So you need to have them clean. Why? Because it is part, it is part of the etiquette, the guidelines. Another one, socialize with your peers. And then we have here like lunch time. We can have lunch or break or the coffee breaks, right? With or co-workers with or peers we, because we need to know a little bit more of course it is not something mandatory but if you know your co-workers a little bit i think that we work better with them and it is not that we are going to become friends or really close friends no we are going to respect what we do as co-workers Right? Then, use your phone wisely. Why wisely? Even though nowadays the telephone is the intelligent, the owner is the one who needs to manage the phone, right? So you keep all the information in your phone, but you need to know when and how to use it. Because for example, when you are in a meeting and then it is supposed that you are 
the listener, you are the audience and you are listening to the one that is in front. But most of the time, nowadays, we are in a meeting and everyone is like this. It is supposed that they are listening. Suppose because we are not sure, but everyone is in the phone and they are not paying attention to the one that is leading the meeting, right? So try to use it better. And finally, in the, from this slide to, to have to complete the eight ones, we have, hey, take responsibility. Sometimes we don't want to take responsibility because it is easier for us to say that another person uh, does a better job than mine. And that's why, okay, you better do it instead of me. You do it. Hey, I like the way that you do it, okay? They do it because they don't want to work and it is easier for them. Something similar to what happened when, when we work in different teams. And then we say, okay, ¿quién va a presentar? Ay, es que se habla muy bonito, usted muy suelto. But that is like uh, the lying person. ¿Por qué? Porque no quiere participar. That's simple. Y entonces le miente al otro y le dice, okay, you better do it. Because you don't want to take the responsibility. That is what we have in our jobs. ¿Será que tenemos estos ocho en, en sus workplaces? Do you have this? Or maybe there is one that you don't have. Do you have them? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> Well, if you don't have them, we are going to work on them. Okay, now let's see. Then I have another one. What about... What about when we are in a meeting? We are talking about in a general, right? And I, I was like uh, talking about what about if we are in a meeting, but now, oops, um, we are talking about a meeting. We are punctual in this case. We have here some of them that we need to respect whenever you are in a meeting with your colleagues. Then we have what we were saying, hey, be punctual. Come prepared. Speak clearly. Actively listen and participate. Actively listen and participate. Give others the opportunity to speak. Follow the agenda. Ask clarifying questions and be attentive to your body language. We have some eight more, but these are very specific for meetings. When we say being punctual, as we mentioned in the previous slide, it says that, hey, show up to the meeting on time so that you are respect so respectful to other people's time. ¿A cuántas reuniones usted ha llegado a la hora últimamente? Don't say it. No me lo digan. That is a secret. That is a top secret that you have. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, because I, I don't want to know and you don't want to uh, spread that news, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't on. want to be really honest in this moment. Why? Because... We need to evaluate ourselves at any moment. And then when it says the second one, come prepare, 
to the meeting. So if you know, if you have the agenda, so it means that the attendees can prepare ahead of time. So they have, okay, that day we have the meeting at that time. Okay, I'm going to organize my activities, not to have, maybe I'm going to change another meeting, or maybe I'm going to, um, I was going out, but that day I'm not going out, I have to stay here. So you need to be ready for that. Then when you are in the meeting, it says, speak clearly, speak loudly enough and clearly enough so that everyone can understand. Sometimes we say that the, uh, the one that is um, in front of you, maybe that person speaks very low and you cannot listen to them. If you are one of them, okay, you better practice, practice to talk in front of your audience. And also it says not only uh, loudly, but also clearly. You need to be very clear with the instructions. Otherwise, uh, your audience is going to be a little bit confused. Actively listen and participate. When we say actively, it means that you are going to be listening and participating and discussions, okay? But then it says, a good rule of thumb is to listen at least two times more as much as you speak. We need to be very good listeners. And then we are going to speak. But the more you listen, the better you speak because you have gotten the whole information. And then it says, give others the opportunity to speak. Or maybe you are the one who wants to speak at any time you speak and speak and speak, and you don't leave another participant to share to, to, to his or her ideas, right? If you have already sent the agenda, so, let us just follow what topic goes after another one, right? Aquí hay un error gramatical, vean, spelling, no gramatical, spelling. It is save time, okay? No es sabe, okay? Ahí el corrector. Then, clarifying question. Ask question at the appropriate time when the question is relevant. De repente, surge el tema y usted, um, digamos, están hablando, maybe something that I am, talking in this moment, that we are talking about being punctual, compare, da, 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 and I am here in asking clarifying question. And then you raise your hand at the moment that I am explaining this, you raise your hand, entonces, the, the person that is in church, si alguien levantó la mano, ¿de qué esperaría yo que usted me preguntara? For English class. For? The English class. No, I mean, I am talking about this eight. Estoy en este punto. Ask mm -hmm. clarifying question. Estoy explicando y alguien levanta la mano. Yo entendería que me van a preguntar algo acerca de qué. About the topic that, that the question in the, in the meeting. In, the, in this moment, if I am talking moment. about asking clarifying question, if I am talking about this, it's a raising hand, yo esperaría que fuera relacionado a eso. Pero dice no, es que, teacher, ¿y qué quería decir con being punctual? Ah, 
fue la primera. Pero me lo viene a preguntar hasta que yo ya estoy en Ask Clarifying Question. Por eso dice, Ask questions at the appropriate time when the question is relevant or to what is been discussed. Because this is just discussed. an example, right? This is just an example. Of course, cuando yo termino y le digo, do you have any question? Abro para que pregunten de lo que sea in a general way. But if I am talking about one and you raise your hand, I am waiting you to ask questions related to the point that I am discussing at that moment, right? And then finally, we have be attentive to your body language. Very important, the body language. Try to avoid actions such, such as clicking your pen, finishing, rustling paper, checking your phone. We have different reaction of body language. For example, when we have mechanical pens, traca, 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 or And you are showing that you are not comfortable in the meeting because you don't want to be there. Even your face shows it. Body language. Right? That is meeting etiquette. Okay? And If we have the meeting etiquette, we are going back to our books. And in our books, we have, since we have already um, worked on this, I want you to go and read In your page number 36, page 36, we are going to work on these two exercises. Give me a second. Page, page 36. I'm going back, I'm going back. My goodness. Okay, I have already shared with you uh, the exercises that we are going to work with your classmates. I'm, now I'm, I'm sharing it in this moment. Okay, we have here, for example, it says, Summarize five etiquette guidelines for the article. We have already read this. What you are going to do is that you are going to summarize and you are going to take, you are going to write down five etiquette guidelines taken from the article. And after that, we are going to work on this in your turn. It says, You are in charge of a group that is going to visit to another company to make an alliance. Write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. It means, van a ir a trabajar en equipo, van a trabajar en this exercise, pero después que terminen de escribir las five guidelines, van a hacer esto. Los cinco, los cuatro que estén en cada equipo, You are your team. You are the teamwork. Y todos ustedes van a ir to visit another company. Right? All of you are visiting another company. It is supposed that one of you it is going to write down the, the etiquette manual for your colleagues pero no lo va a hacer uno solo, lo van a hacer entre todos. If you are going to be the visitors, 
¿qué se esperaría? ¿Cuál se esperaría que sea su comportamiento? ¿Cuál serían esas etiquette guidelines for your team at the moment to be in that company? So you have two exercises. The first, las cinco guidelines, pero del article que ya acabamos de leer. But the second part, when it says your turn, it is that you are going to prepare this guideline for your teamwork, pero entre todos lo van a preparar at the moment of going to visit another company. Do you understand? Para los que ya se están durmiendo, pues vamos a ir a trabajar, yes, ¿ok? Para que vayan a platicar. Ok, let's see. Let me see. ¿Quiénes no están de oyentes? Déjenme ver. Tengo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ok, Rosa, ¿puedo incluirla a grupo de trabajo? Rosa? No. Remberto Calderón? Yes, of course. Okay. So, entonces va Remberto. Moses? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Maximiliano? Maximiliano. Sí, pero me ¿no acabo eres? de conectar. Me acabo de conectar, no estoy bien. Pero sus compañeros le van a decir el qué. Ok. Va, va está bien. Ok. Y va también Jennifer. Ok, let me see. One, two, three, four. Ok, va Jennifer, Maximiliano, Moses, and Remberto. And uh, for the second team, va. Elsie, José Adilson. Perfect. Ok. Kenia Lisset. Present. Ok. Mm. Ah, ya se agregaron dos más, tres más. Dos, tres. Um, Rosa no me contestó. ¿Valeria Michel? Yes. Ok. ¿En Wilfredo Renderos? Wilfredo, pero me contestó para la lista. Bueno, entonces no lo, no lo coloco. ¿En Wilfredo Alexander? Tampoco. Ok. Entonces vamos dos equipos. Uh, uh, you are going to... Excuse me. Me mencionó, ¿verdad? Yes. Es que estoy haciendo algo del trabajo, este, pero sí estoy disponible para trabajar en sala. Okay, good. Okay, so we are going to work in those two exercises. Hemos comprendido lo que van a ir a hacer, la primera y segunda parte. Yes, yes okay. So let us work. We have 10 minutes for you to work with your team. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó, pero sí puedo participar. No sé si me va a poner en uno. 
¿Quién es? Oswaldo. No lo mencioné, Oswaldo. No. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry, veamos, Oswaldo. So sorry. Okay. Ya lo mandé. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál mencionaba, Valerie? Ah, you respect. No, no, yo diciendo la segunda, la de... Ah, um, de si una de esas puede ser two gates with employees. Fine. ¿Cuál? Two communicates with employees for clients. En el segundo párrafo, no sé.
Sí, está bien. Ok. Listo. Yo escribí esta. Ahorita la pongo eh, aquí en el chat. Uh -huh. okay. eh, no sé si las vamos a presentar para ponerlas en un... O solo las vamos a escribir al chat. Pues sería bueno escribirlas y dejarlas en una sola hoja. Uh -huh. okay. Así como lo han presentado en los ejercicios anteriores. Uh -huh. ah, pues voy, a, voy a abrir una, una poll y la voy a...
parte de, de arriba que, que decía que hay que sacarla del texto donde se explican las etiquetas. Mm. etiquetas. No, que decía, no sé si podrías. decía Ajá, por eso. es como, ajá, como que alguien llegaba como de, de visita a nuestra, a esa, a, Ajá, a, ajá. a una compañía, ok. Eh, lo primero sería identificarse, ¿no? Sí. La segunda es que ustedes son el equipo que va de visita a otra compañía. Entonces, Ah, no. No vamos ustedes. a recibir nosotros a alguien. No, No que ustedes, nosotros vamos ustedes a visitar a otra van compañía. a ir a Oh. visitar otra Oh, compañía. okay. Entonces, ¿qué guidelines de etiquette tienen que aplicar ustedes al momento que lleguen allá? ¿Ok? Yo no me acuerdo cómo era, fíjate. Solo me acuerdo dress appro appropriately, eh, be punctual, eh, la de... Respect Ajá. personal space. Bien, respect. Pero esa se parece a, a la de las palabras. No, no no es respetar el, el, el espacio personal. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. de no andar de encimoso Vaya, este, ¿puedes hacer eso mismo arriba? Ah, te rellenan ¿Ahí? eso. Ajá. Con la que... Allá. O sea, esta le paso para acá. No, 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 las la que que se veíamos. identificamos. Las que veíamos en texto. O sea, hay que... Ah, quiero ver. Vi. Si quieres, te las digo. Ajá, esas. Uh Y solo tal cual lo que subrayé o, o, -huh. No, o no, subí. te le vamos a, a ir dictando. Bye. Be punctual. Punctual, punctual. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Puntual. Punctual. No sé. Puntual. Creo que... Yo escucho No, que punctual. le dicen con acento. Ay, no, por Punctual. eso. Será. Be responsible. Be responsible. Eh, use formal and grammatically correct language for email. WM TKG. Uh Tika, mm -hmm. correct. -hmm. -huh. Te, te faltó. ¿A dónde? No, Eh, pero la tercera.
Be ready, guys. We're coming back. Creo que le puedes tomar una captura para poder mostrarlo, ¿eh? No, pero ya también puede, puede perder pantalla, ¿vale? Ah, sí, cierto. Thank you. Ok. Nos vemos allá. Okay, guys, now would you mind please sharing what you have already wor worked with your classmates? We got only two, two different teams. Are you going to share? Team number one. Okay, teacher, voy a presentar. Okay. Okay, este es el, la, la, good, la good life etiquette, o, o por lo menos son los, las oraciones que nosotros creemos convenientes. Por ejemplo, la primera que, que la hice yo sería no smoking dur during the, the meeting, o sea, no fumar durante la reunión, porque algunos que no fumamos no es agradable el, el olor a tabaco. Y las, uh -huh. No, los compañeros me quedaron que me iban a ayudar esta vez, diciendo cada uno de ellos. Adelante. <risa> ok. Mute, mute your microphone. Okay. No. ¿Lo leo todo? Do, do not interrupt. Get dressed correctly, even if it is an online meeting. Always great. Great. I don't break up the meeting. Don't eat during the meeting. Okay, but this is these are the ones that you're going to apply when you're going to visit the 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 other company. Okay. Is it the, uh, no, no. This is the, this, second, this the, the, second. Uh -huh, the second part, the activities in the context and the online because um the normally is the start in this meeting in online and ah, okay uh -huh. yes okay good point i'm going to say something about that when the sec when you finish right okay, next the, the, the second uh -huh, slide. Presentation. okay jennifer stanza for presenter <laughs> <laughs> no not if he, the visit in advance and the second previously check the material and equipment equipment necessary for the development of the visit and very ver, verify that everything is organized and be clear about the objective of the meeting and visit agenda is the first activity when we we go to the the other um institution on the other um company. place company yes company okay thank you okay, okay so we have here notify 
notify me lo quito. Oh, notify. No, eh. no, excuse me. No, ya no lo pongo. Oh, sí. No, 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 no. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And now we have the second team. Ya voy a compartir. Okay, Valerie. Uh -huh. Okay, no sé si mis compañeros vamos a pronunciar una por una. Yes. Okay. Be punctual. Responsible. Use formal, formal and grammatically correct language for email. Grammatically? Grammatically? For grammatically. Gram grammatically? Grammatically. That's it. Okay, thank you. Be polite when you talk to other person. Talk. 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 Do eh, not talk loudly when you eating. And that, that is the summarizes the art the article. Yes. And then, uh, now we are are going to read etiquette manual. Yet. 2023. Uh, greet everyone in the facilities. Dress appropriately. Okay, appropriately. Pero aquí, pero aquí, corazones, si ustedes ya saben para qué empresa van, ¿qué es appropriately en este caso? Porque tienen que definirlo. Cuando la regla la gaila dice dress appropriately es porque tiene que respetar el código de vestuario de cada empresa. Pero si ustedes ya saben para dónde van, ¿a qué se refieren con appropriately? ¿Cómo van a ir vestidos? Formal, 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 formal. casual. Ajá, formal, entonces ese formal. appropriately sería dress Forma. For, formal. Okay. Porque ya saben para dónde van. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Use your mobile wisely. Your mobile wisely. wisely. Pero, a qué, pero a qué se refiere wisely. Yo se los expliqué, pero en, en su caso, ¿qué va a ser el wisely? ¿Cómo quieren que utilicen ese font sus compañeros? ¿Cómo lo van a utilizar todos ahí? Wisely. ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo lo van a decir? Ok. Wisely sería, ok, si cada vez que vayamos a una reunión, lo ponen en modo silencio. Mm -hmm. be, okay. Be, be, be. Yeah. okay. E esa Ay. es very specific, ¿ok? Todos vamos a reunión y todos sabemos que nadie va a llevar ese teléfono a la reunión con sonido. Es decir, entrando y todo el mundo lo pone en modo silencio. Esa es yes. una directamente, right? Yes. Ok. Be puntual. Ahí no hay Always. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Be mindful of your words. We talk uh -huh. about the uh, we had to be more careful with with your words because you cannot um, hablar de más. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. So you have to be a good listener. Mm -hmm. 
and respect personal space. Ok. ¿Qué se entenderá? ¿En qué? ¿Entre ustedes? ¿A dónde se van a alojar? ¿O allá a la compañía? ¿Cómo van a hacer eso? ¿Cómo van a respetar el espacio? When arrive, when arrive the company. Uh -huh. ¿Qué quiere decir? No se van a andar metiendo en todas las oficinas. <laughs> yes. Right? Because yes. if you have not been invited, mm -hmm. no va a andar en todas las oficinas, right? So that's what you have to be respectful with the space of your uh, co-workers or the, the other ones. Okay, guys. Very good. Thank you. Y entonces vamos a la última parte, que es esta. We have been talking about the meeting etiquette. Ah, lo que iba a decir con lo que mencionaron los chicos de team number one. When we are talking about um, norms or rules, uh, as you did, for example, as in this meeting that is online, right? En all the activities, tenemos un término que se parece mucho, pero cuando es online, deja de ser etiquette. Y le ponemos una letra y se transforma en, en esto, vean. Cuando es online, Deja de llamarse etiquette y en online se conoce como netiquette, de net, netiquette. Todo eso del uh, to turn your microphone off or mute, ok. Um, todo lo que ustedes dijeron de online se conoce como netiquette, ok. Se mueve también el término. El etiquette va más que todo cuando vamos así en face-to-face -face meetings. Ok, and as I said, ya vimos lo que es, eh, digamos, a different rules when we are in a meeting, but falta la última parte that it is this one. A phone call. As we were mentioning, at the moment that you're going to have a phone call, quien se va a presentar, who is going to introduce, who is the one that you're going to call. Well, we have here some examples about different phone calls. Even though uh, we have mixed here, like uh, formal and, and, and informal ways. For example, these blue ones, are informal. The blue one are informal. For example, si yo soy quien va a llamar, I'm going to say, hey, is Bob there, please? Usted es la persona que va a preguntar por Bob. Entonces, try to use please. Is Bob there, please? Okay. Um, la siguiente es más formal. Y usted puede decir, this is Bob. Primero se presenta a usted y luego a quien quiere llamar. And then you say, this is Bob calling for Emma. So you are going to say, or me, I'm going to say, this is Yesenia calling for Valerie. Calling for Jose Adilson. Calling for Rosa. But this is, this is Yesenia. Calling for the other person. A quien usted está buscando. And that is something formal. Una manera informal también. Otra puede decir, is Bob in? Está ahí. Entonces, una manera informal de decir, is Bob in? Or is Elsa in? Is Valeria in? Is Remberto in? Está preguntando si está esa persona, right? 
And then the last one, que es la extraordinariamente formal. May I speak to Emma, please? Ahí me faltó. Okay. May I speak to Emma, please? Very, very formal. Y aquí al otro lado tengo algunas respuestas para algunas de ellas. This way. Okay, this way, for example, this is a way. For example, this way. Si alguien le llama y usted va a contestar y le dice, is Bob in? Y usted es Bob, usted va a decir, puede decir, speaking. That is one option. You can say, speaking. Lo que normalmente decimos, ella habla, él habla, right? Pero dicho de diferente forma, que es como que dijera, This is Emma, si están buscando a Emma. Si alguien dice, may I speak to Emma? I can say, this is Emma. I can say, Emma speaking, or I can say only speaking. And the three of them are just another way to say the, st the same thing. This is like extra information because we have, hey, Emma speaking, how can I help you? Usted me llama, pero para que soy buena, right? So that is your offering. Pero eso es cuando usted contesta que es usted. You say speaking or Emma speaking or this is Emma. But, y cuando no es usted la que contesta. Cuando no es usted la persona que contesta, entonces, cuando dice, not Emma, not, not Emma, no es Emma, pero no es que va a decir not Emma, right? Usted, esta que estoy escribiendo es, cuando usted no es Emma, you have these options to answer. For example, uh, may I speak to Emma? One moment, please. Just a moment, please. Y esta es very informal, pero se usa, pero es muy informal, no es con cualquier persona. Es decir, it has to be your friend. You need to say, hey, hang, up, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll get her. I'll get him. Si es que están preguntando por un caballero, I'm going to say, I'll get him or I get her. Three different ways to say, espéreme, ya se lo voy a comunicar. Two, formal and one informal. And then finally, I am giving more information porque esta persona no está en casa. Entonces le digo, I'm sorry, she's not here at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Esto es algo ya más estructurado, right? And then, I'm sorry she's not here or he's not here at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Right? Y ya la otra persona pues le deja lo que quiere decir. But as you can see here, this is a phone call. Pero no por ser un phone call, no voy a ser cortés. No voy a ser polite. I need to organize my vocabulary. I need to organize my answers to make it a very polite phone call. Right? So, let us practice. Vamos a escoger unos, dos, que tres. Y lo vamos a hacer simple. Uno utiliza, for example, you use... Um, let me see. I'm going to point out. For example, you use this one. And then, usted pregunte por alguno de sus compañeros. Usted va a llamar a alguien. Okay? Usted dice, uh, is 
Is, is, vamos a ver. Is Lucía. Is Lucía there, please? Entonces, eh, le van a contestar a alguien. Si usted es Lucía, pues va a contestar que usted es. Y si no, pues tiene otras opciones. Ok, vamos a escuchar. Vamos a escuchar a... A Remberto y a Rosa. Ok, escucha. Ok. Usen el que quieran. Rosa speaking. How oh, can I help you? Remberto. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Estoy ocupando el, el de abajo. Rosa speaking. How oh, can I help you? Mm. Oh, no. Pero es que no la encuentro. ¿A dónde está esa? Esta. Uh -huh. Pero estas son sí. respuestas. Ah, okay. Okay. Estas son respuestas, ¿ok? okay Para okay. preguntar, ¿Cómo? son cualquiera de estas. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Is Remberto here, please? Sorry? Is Remberto there, please? Uh, just a moment, please. ¿Y no es usted, Remberto, pues? Ah, yo me estaba haciendo pasar por otra persona en el diálogo. Ok. Uh, innovation, okay. teacher. Okay. De lo que le hablan para cobrar la idea. Ah, hey, excelente, compañera. It's excelente. not me. You are right, you are brilliant. Okay, you are amazing. Pero, pero si es usted, Remberto, ¿cómo le contestaría entonces? How can I help you? ¿De las que están aquí? Sí. ¿Las que están? De las que están acá, tenemos ah. estas tres opciones. Roberto speaking, how can I help you? Ajá, it is different, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, hey. very good. Thank you. Pero no me dejó innovar, no me dejó innovar, me mató la emoción. <risa> <risa> Sorry, no, porque esa fue, la, esa fue la que le salió más fácil, por oh, eso. Yes, yes, yes. <risa> Okay, let's see two more participants. Let's see now it is going to um Elsa and Jennifer. Okay. Is Elsa there, please? Utilice otro que no sea ese porque el anterior ocupó ese. Ok. May I speak to Elsa? Uh, this, is a, this is Elsa. Ok, very good. Okay. Very good, thank you. Y los últimos participantes serán Adilson. Ok. En Mouses. Solo Ready. que... Moses, usted va a jugar con que usted no es Moses, ¿ok? Ok, ready. Ok, ok. Ok. ¿Is Moses in? Uh, not Moses. One moment, please. Ok, ok. You, you just need to say, one moment, please. Ok. Uh, you don't need to say, no Moses. No, you say, one moment, please. Right? Ok. Ok. okay. Ok, y los últimos, thank you, van a jugar lo mismo, que no son quienes le llaman, pero le van a pedir que dejen el mensaje, ok, van a incluir el último y serán, um, déjeme ver, Osvaldo con Valerie, Valeria Michel. Okay. Okay. Is, eh, ¿Con quién voy, perdón? Eh, empiezo yo. Con Osvaldo. Vaya, okay. utilícenme esta que esta nadie la ha utilizado. Okay. This, this is, 
This is Valerie calling. No, no usted, es Osvaldo. This is, this is Osvaldo calling for Valerie. Cualquiera de estas. Not Valerie. Just a moment, please. No, esto no lo van a decir. Bien dije, por okay. eso esto no lo digan. Just a moment, please. I'm sorry, Jess. She's not here at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Okay. You see? You did like a sequence of ideas. Cuando le dice, uh, one moment, please, es porque usted va a revisar si esa persona está ahí. And then you said, mm -mm, I'm sorry, she's not here at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Y ya llevamos esa lógica con the conversation. Okay, any question, guys? No questions? At all. Okay, so let us listen to the attendance. Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara? Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías, Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña, present, Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández, Gilberto Lazo Funes, Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos, present, Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos, present, Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana, José Adilson Vázquez García. Present. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Genia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present. Genia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present, Ficha. Perín Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present. Okay, guys. So that's all for today's class. Thank you very much for participating and uh, see you tomorrow. See you yeah. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.